I think probably everybody here was at least vaguely familiar with the story of Amanda Knox, if only from tab enough tabloid headlines. Mm -hmm. um, but what inspired you to pursue this as a story again, in terms of, and you know, what was the flashpoint for it that made you think, okay, we need to go after this, we need to tell this story? Yeah, so when we began working on this in 2011, we of course saw what everybody else had seen to that point, was, uh, which was a story that had been turned into headlines, um, kind of been reduced to headlines maybe. And we wanted to understand why this tragedy had become this, this thing, but also why it had become this piece of entertainment that um, had moved so far away from maybe what was originally at the heart of the story. But was there anything that was like, why, why this? I mean, it's like in terms of like, yeah. what was it? There must have been, I mean, like, was it an article? Was it a, was there something that kind of made you, because it's such a huge commitment to make a film like this, especially when this is something that you could, you could think it's been played out and clearly right. it hasn't. Well, I think that, you know, the, the thing that was really unique about this story and remains unique about it is that it, it, it kind of stayed on the front page past um, one news cycle, past two news cycles, past a week. Now our news cycles last 40 minutes, 50 minutes if we're lucky. Um, and so for a story like this to captivate the whole world, and not only just the US, but really internationally for that long, for four years by the time that, that we started um, working on it, it, it was rare. And we thought there was something about that that made it really unique and that we could we could kind of dive into further. And as we started exploring it, it, it kind of, it dovetails with the way that journalism and the media is changing at that time period. It's, it's the rise of Facebook. It's the, the rise of social media in general. It's, it's this time period when the media goes digital and organizations are cutting back on their you know, foreign correspondents, they're cutting back on a lot of the kind of traditional coverage. And so freelancers um, fill that fill that hole. And what that means is they're they're reporting all of a sudden not for one organization, but for for five, for ten. And so that line begins to blur between tabloid news and, and hard news. Um, certainly something that's that's applicable now. And and that was the thing that really started to click when we when we looked into the story was that that was really interesting.